Well, if you haven't heard, uh, the Senate, they passed their version of the health care bill. Of course, you heard that got a lot of attention uh, right before Christmas, passed the bill on Christmas Eve. A lot of hard work there uh, that happened, but now the work actually begins because next month the House and Senate are going to try to make their two bills into one if it becomes law. We're talking about the largest overhaul that we've seen uh, since the expansion uh, with well, the birth really of Medicare and Medicaid some 40 years ago. Now our guy through much of this process has been Kenneth Thor, the health care policy expert who's worked with the Clinton administration in its health care reform efforts. Good morning to you. You said this would happen. It in fact happened. So so far so good uh, with your predictions at least. Um, is it going to happen now? Uh, we got two bills passed. First, first, you know what, let me ask you this. Put it in perspective for people out there what this means to actually have a, a bill that has passed in the House and the Senate. People remember Hillary Care, as they, they, uh, they call it. People don't remember nothing got out of anything at that point. How big of a deal is it that we got two bills now? Well, this is a major set of reforms. Uh, President Clinton tried to do this in 1993, and his bill didn't make it out of a single committee in Congress. So this really is a major set of reforms. And I think what's important is it does three things that I think we've lost sight of. Mm -hmm. One is that it really reforms the insurance market. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the state of Georgia, if you're a self-employed individual trying to buy health insurance and you've got diabetes or high blood pressure or skin cancer, you can't get coverage at any, at any price. That will change. Uh, it moves towards uh, having all Americans covered, a major part of what President uh, Obama ran on, uh, to move towards universal coverage. And three, it changes how we pay for health care to make it more efficient. Make it not so that we're not paying on volume, but we're really trying to reduce unnecessary admissions to the hospital and readmissions. So the big picture stuff is all there. And so we're talking no matter what, and there are differences in these two bills, but you're saying no matter what, those three key things looks like we're going to end up getting those no matter what bill comes out, because those aren't really sticking points between the two. No, that's right. The, the major things that the president ran on will be in this legislation. There are a lot of details that they're going to have to work out in terms of how to exactly pay for it. Uh, what, if any, role there will be for a public option. Uh, those are types of issues uh, that the House and Senate now need to work through. Okay, so let's take up those two issues and let's start with the public option. Ain't happening. Uh, not likely to happen I'm in like... the way that progressives want to see it happen. Uh, in the Senate version, there will be at least two national plans, uh, meaning that if you live anywhere in this country, uh, Albuquerque, Indiana, Pennsylvania, you pay the same premium. That was something that progressives wanted to have. It will be a government plan, but just run by a not-for-profit private health plan. Okay, well, some in the House have been firm that we are not going to do this if it does not have a public option. They say you can't have real reform without that public option. Are they going to have to give a lot? Because it sounds like you and everybody else I'm hearing, there is no way a public option, in the form we at least think of it as, is going to be in this final bill. Well, there's not the votes in the Senate to really do that. And I think that we've got to take a step back and remember what we're trying to accomplish in the first place. And that really is uh, reforming the insurance market, uh, get moving towards universal coverage, and making health care more efficient. This is not a one-and-done deal. Uh, we will be back next year, I believe, dealing with issues around entitlement reform and the deficit. And the opportunity to back and rethink some of these issues will be on the table next year as well. Now, are we still, can we call it, would you call it? Because the public option, we were told when the, when the House started talking about this, when they, before they voted, that this was the key issue. You have to have this to have health care reform. So if a final bill and the law, the final one, the president signs, does not have a, a health care, that public option, can we still call it that true reform? I think it's still true reform. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. Uh, is it better than the status quo? I think absolutely. J just making sure that people can get access to health insurance coverage without being denied it uh, if you've got a pre-existing condition or being thrown off your policy if you're sick, that is a major set of reforms, as is moving towards universal coverage. Okay, we saw what happened in the Senate. Uh, I mean, if, if one of the senators would have had a flat tire going in, he would have missed the vote and this thing wouldn't have gone through. So that's how tight it is. So once they get together and try to, I mean, you got so many people you can lose if this legislation changes just a bit. So uh, what's going to happen here? Are Democrats essentially going to say, hey, we're this close and, every, and some guys are just going to have to give up a lot of what they wanted? Uh, or as, as you start adding some things, you're going to start finding Democrats falling off and losing like Ben Nelson, like others who barely gave their support to the legislature. Well, the Senate can't afford to, to lose a single vote. So at the end of the day, I think that the final legislation that comes out of the conference between the House and the Senate is going to look a lot more like the Senate bill. 
Uh, there's a little bit more leeway in the House in terms of votes. Uh, but I think that at the end of the day, this is going to look a lot like what the Senate has already passed. All right. Uh, well, you've been right on so far. In the throat. Been walking us All through right. it so far. Appreciate having All you right. as always. Hope you had a good Christmas yesterday. Brooke, I will hand it back over to you. All right.